Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net and it is Wednesday the 28th of May. Thanks again for watching. Just a quick one for you today. This is a scene that was uh, familiar across many parts of the country earlier on today. Uh, took this from West Wales looking eastwards into the Cambrian Mountains and it shows the dampness of the atmosphere. You can see there the uh, mist and murk that was uh, at the surface uh, during this morning but the cloud up above uh, was producing some outbreaks of rain and many places have seen rain through today. But it's the medium to longer term that I'm interested in in today's video and this is the 500 millibar chart forecast for a week on Friday, well um, actually two weeks on Friday, it's the 13th of June and what I'm just interested in here is showing this setup, this idea of a ridge out in the Atlantic, look trough down through the UK, another ridge across uh, eastern parts of Europe and we'll see that repeated pattern in the CFS forecasts. But first this is a 7 to 10 day mean of the 500 millibar flow. This is the ECMWF, we've got the GFS on the right here and the ECMWF look shows the ridge, shows the trough, shows the ridge again there across Eastern Europe. This is for the period, by the way, from next Wednesday through to Saturday the 7th. Uh, GFS not picking up so strongly on it or notice it makes more of this cold feature here across um, the uh, western parts of Greenland but it does kind of a ridge of sorts in the Atlantic and a trough but then this major ridge here look across um, northern parts of Europe the ECMWF really going for it in terms of deepening off this low during the back end of next week and the, G the GFS sees it as well but doesn't see it as such a major feature but I think overall good agreement between the models that we get a trough back in or at least close to the UK again so once again Scotland fares best of all with the driest of any weather but it looks as if we could be seeing some wetter stuff for the south and west. So week one looking like this then, uh, this is the forecast for week one from the CFS from the 28th of May through to the 3rd of June, low pressure down in the med or at least lower than normal heights, higher than normal heights out towards the west and the east of the UK, another trough out in the Atlantic so we've got that sort of pattern in there and that trough off towards the south shows us the more unsettled conditions through southern areas uh, affecting southern parts of the UK whilst with high pressure to the southwest and to the northeast, it's there that we see the best of the conditions. Uh, into week two, from the 4th of June through the 10th of June, again, there's that trough look down through the UK, ridge off to the east, ridge off to the west as well, and trying to now show more unsettled conditions during that period from the 4th to the 10th. That one needs watching closely, but if that did come true, then I'm afraid that really isn't boding particularly well. But what's fascinating, I find, is that it just keeps on trying to build back in this idea of higher than all heights towards the north, lower than all to the south. I mean, you see it here in week three, look, with this easterly flow through the country. So bringing in again a return to more settled weather across northern areas, less settled to the south. The problem is, is deciding on how far north or how far south the fine weather extends. And week four as well, look, again, puts these higher than normal heights north, low than normal south easterly flow so again it's got the high pressure focus through Scotland but again it's exactly what happens across more southern areas how unsettled does it become the problem I've got is that this isn't boding well for the summer because I did say that I thought the summer would be front loaded with good weather so we'd see the best of the conditions through um, June and into the early part of July that was on the understanding that the ridge to the north here actually built far enough south for us to be in those fine conditions but that hasn't happened so we've got the easterly flow and I think the problem is that if we see a breakthrough of westerlies during the middle part of July that could be it in terms of summer it could all be over um, now don't you know don't run for the hills just yet but um, that's just the thought process that's going on here at uh, the weather web weather center just at the moment but of course you'll be the first to know as we develop those thoughts over the next few weeks. But for now, whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching weatherweb.net and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.